It's the same stuff that grows on the sides of ponds and swimming pools, but it's more than just pond scum. Biologists at UC San Diego have discovered that this green algae, used widely in laboratories as a genetic model organism, can also produce a wide range of human therapeutic proteins in greater quantity and more cheaply than bacteria or mammalian cells. In a series of recent experiments, they succeeded in genetically engineering the algae to produce a complex and expensive human therapeutic drug used to treat cancer. The biologists produced a complex three-dimensional protein with two domains, one of which contains an antibody which can home in and attach to a cancer cell, and another domain that contains a toxin that kills the bound cancer cells. Such fusion proteins are presently created by pharmaceutical companies in a complex two-step process by first developing the antibody domain in a Chinese hamster cell. The antibody is then purified, then chemically attached to a toxin outside of the cell, then the final protein is repurified. In algae, a modified gene creates a single protein with the antibody and toxin domains fused together. This requires only one purification step. And because it's made in algae rather than Chinese hamster cells, the process is far less expensive. In fact, the anti-cancer protein the researchers produce from algae is identical to one under development by pharmaceutical companies with a proposed cost of more than $100,000. For more on this discovery and other news in the biological sciences, go to biology.ucsd.edu.